hi everyone welcome back to my channel so today i'm working on a 2003 porsche boxster and this is the part two of the video so if you never had a chance to watch the part one i'm gonna post the link on the top you can uh, go ahead and go watch it so the part one video i took the motor out service it and this is the part two i'm gonna put it right back in and um this car came in with um major oil leak and major coolant leaks and as you can see i already got the car in a service mode this is empty this is where the engine goes the engine is right in the back because this is a porsche boxster railroad drive and um this is the engine right here i had to take it off with a transmission together service it fully and now i'm gonna put it right back in so what I did basically on this engine was um, I changed the spark plugs. I changed also the intake manifold gasket. I changed the O-rings on the fuel injectors. I also changed the idler pulleys. One, two, three pulleys. I had to replace both and uh, because it was playing a little. And this one was totally broken when it came in. The serpentine belt was shredded. It had a coolant leak. <clears throat> this valve unit, um, we call it valve unit. So this valve unit was all broken. So the coolant was leaking and you can't even access this on the car. You have to drop it off before you can get access to it. So pretty much I did a lot of things on it. I changed some of the O-rings on the oil separator. I changed the oil cooler gasket. So now, everything is all set it's ready to go in all right so let's get it started
Okay, so here we are, still in progress. So right now, um, what I'm gonna say is, I've got most of the things in place, back in place. And um, if you see the CV axle, I've got it in place on both sides. The stabilizer bar is all in place. This little bracket is in place. And also this um, bracket underneath the transmission is also back in place. So pretty much I've got so much things in place uh, right now. All the coolant hoses is also back in place. The gas line, the power steering lines is all back in place. So right now, um, what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna, the transmission line, uh, the shifter cable is also back in place. Looking all um, nice and clean and also the next step I'm gonna do is to install the exhaust system. So I took the exhaust system completely out and I'm gonna put it back as it was. So I'm waiting for my brother to come help me put this cause this is heavy, I can't do it myself. So pretty much that's how far we've come. And um, when I put this back in place, the next thing I'm gonna do is to put the bumper back in place then the car will be all set i'm gonna go ahead check all the wiring check everything put some coolant put some oil and the car will be ready to go for a test drive all right so this has been a, a hell of a job but you already know i always got you don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel peace
okay so right now um as you can see i put all the wire connections back the wire connections goes right on the behind this carpet that you see right here so all the wires is connected to the control modules to whatever it's all connected and all tight and also over here i put some oil and i put some coolant to the level so and uh, when you come inside here too everything is all set all the wires is plugged in all the hoses is connected everything else is all set except one thing over here the serpentine belt i didn't put a serpentine belt yet because i you know i need someone else to help me stretch the belt because the belt is brand new and it's very tight so i need someone to help me stretch the belt and at the moment i'm the only one in the garage so i'm gonna wait for help later but um what i'm gonna do next is the bumper so the bumper is the final part that is gonna go on next then the job will be done but before i go ahead and put the bumper i want to make sure everything is all set so i'm gonna go ahead and start the car and see how it goes that's the moment of truth oh my god this already took me more than a month so please let this car start for me all right so moment of truth let's go ahead and put a battery on and start the car let's do this okay i got my battery on now let's go inside and start it just to make sure no coolant leak no oil leaks the engine is running smooth and also sounding you know great so i'm gonna go ahead and start it right now just to see how it goes keep my fingers crossed all right before i go ahead and start it i'm gonna turn the ignition on for the gas to flow through the system i don't need no radio go away about five minutes uh five seconds and turn it back off okay so turn it on again and turn it off all right now it's time to start three two one action oh fired right up that's what's up yes one time and it started most of my jobs that i do start one time just right away and this is a joy for me this makes me feel like you know it makes me feel good yes one time one mechanic took a porsche boxster model out by myself service it and put it back in this is a three-man job i did it by myself don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel i got more videos coming yes my energy is rise up right now my energy is up my energy is up yes let's go let's go let's go let's get it you see how the motor is running it's running very smooth smooth silence you can't hear nothing now i'm gonna lift the car up and look out for oil leaks coolant leaks anything that i'm gonna see i know i'm not gonna find anything but you know just to be on the safer side i'm gonna bring it up and um check everything let's get it let's get it let's get it okay so i've got a car on the lift and it's running it's very silent you can't hear nothing like nothing it's silent smooth running very smooth and also it's very dry underneath this is the ground nothing leaking on the ground so this is a good sign of a good job that's it I 
all right so so far so good no leakage no coolant leaks no oil leaks everything seems fine so i'm gonna bring it down and put the bumper together put the tires on and hopefully i put the safety belt on and i go for a test drive all right you already know don't forget to like and subscribe as always Okay, so finally I got help to put the serpentine belt on and as you can see that's it right there that's the new serpentine belt so now everything is all set and also when you get to the back here I put the bumper on so now the back is all set so right now I'm gonna go ahead and start it one more time just to listen you know one while whilst the belt is on listen to the noise and everything then um i'll start putting everything back together then i'll go for a test drive all right let's go So far, so good. It's been running for a while now. And um, it's still running smooth. Very silent. I mean, all the pulleys are running smooth. You can't see any wiggle or any, any uh, shaking anywhere. It's all straight and, uh, and running smooth. So now I can go ahead and put the cover plate on and start putting the carpet on the top and everything. So. Like I said, this was a successful job. And if this video was helpful to you, don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any question, put it in the comment section and I'll make sure I answer you as soon as I can. All right, test drive. Okay, so finally, 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 the job is done. And um, I did my final inspection everything else is good so right now as you can hear it the car is running and it's running very smooth so i'm gonna go ahead and move it out then i'm going for a test drive this has been a hell of a job but god being so good everything came up to success so don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up peace Don't forget to like and subscribe. Peace.